Hello children. Welcome to another lesson. I'm sure you enjoyed the last lesson. Now let's quickly find out what we'll be learning today. In this class, we're going to explore graphical modeling. I'm sure you'll be wondering what that is. Now in this topic, we'll look at what collages are and also explore some painting softwares. All right. Now let's find out what the learning objectives for these lessons are. Now at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what collages are, meaning of collages, and list materials used for collages in art. And of course, mention some examples of painting software, and we're going to do a design we're going to design collages using the computer. Okay? Now, collages, what are they? It's simply sticking cloth, pieces of cloth, pieces of paper, photographs, and other objects onto a surface. All right? So, the art of making pictures by sticking cloth, pieces of paper, photographs, and other objects onto a surface is called collages right so let's quickly look at some materials used in art for collages now you have pieces of paper you have cloth wool the normal cotton wool that you know okay you have shredded tissue paper photographs and other objects and so on okay now let's look at some painting softwares that we usually use now we're going to use some um, a, a paint a graphic software to design our own collage in this class the PowerPoint but let's look at some painting softwares we have the Microsoft paint popularly called MS paint We have the color paint I have my paint you have MT paint you have genome paint instant artist these are a few out of the several painting softwares used all right for painting on the computer you can do a little research on that to find out more all right let's move on now quickly we're going to do a practical Quickly, we're going to do a practical on how to do collages using um, the computer. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to be using a graphic software. That is the MS uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So, you simply load PowerPoint, which I'm doing right now. You load PowerPoint, all right? Now, um, after loading that, you have a new page. You have a new slide right so you can just delete that I don't need that I'll just delete that then you go to insert click on the insert menu and insert pictures I want to pick like five different pictures from my picture folder so I'm going to select the control key on the keyboard so that I can pick all the five at once right all right so there I go I have all five on my page but you know it looks a little clumsy right now so I'm going to use the drag handle to reduce the size which I'm doing right now all right and um, now remember we said when you stick items together that's collages now you click out to separate the pictures now I'm going to arrange them the way I would like them to be okay Now I want two on top and three below. Okay. 
so after which you select all the pictures and uh, I want to group it now okay so you go to format and click group I'm grouping it now so that I can easily move them together all right now I will have to save that as a picture file so I'll click on file use the save as option and of course I want my I like it to be on the desktop okay that's a file location so I want my um, PowerPoint uh, is no more going to be a PowerPoint file like I said I'm going to save it in a JPEG format that's it so I'm saving it as a JPEG format that's a picture format and the name of my of my file is going to be titled um, background okay I'm going to use it as background okay so I click save all right so my PowerPoint has been converted to the picture file which I have saved now I can go back I can go back there I can go to my desktop I can go to my desktop I can go to my desktop to check it up okay I have it saved as background so that's it background Woo! beautiful isn't it now you can try that on your own all right you can try that on your own as well all right all right so now can we quickly recap what we learned in this class in this class we learned meaning of collages we learned the different materials that we can use for collages in art class all right we also looked at some examples of painting software and we also designed collages using the computer now you can try the quiz that follows after this lesson all right all right